Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? And we're continuing our coverage of the Unity Summit 2017 with a couple of the announcements that were made on stage uh, via Unity and a lot of their partners. Now, one in particular is Vuforia. Vuforia's technology is actually found in a lot of AR headsets and AR technologies, including ones that might be built into your smartphone. But to bring things a little bit more close to home, you might have actually seen Vuforia in a number of different uh, toys that are available for kids. Uh, and their technology has allowed AR to really blow up in the world of kids' toys and beyond. Now here at the Unity Summit 2017, Vuforia announced a new layer to their technology that will be built into Unity and is going to make AR even better than before. Now if you don't realize, AR is actually a much bigger challenge in order to create very seamless experiences when compared to VR. The main reason for that is because VR is a world that you can render and create all throughout, rather than using AR which has to render its elements on top of the actual world around you, including its objects. Now one of the current issues with AR is that a lot of the objects can only be rendered on surfaces that are already figured out. And if it walks or moves off of that surface, it's not going to necessarily understand the terrain that, that well. And that's why Vuforia Smart Terrain is a big deal for AR creators. Essentially using Google Tango and different devices like the Fab2 Pro by Lenovo and also the ASUS phone that has Tango built into it, you'll be able to get the terrain around the area using tables and couches or even just objects that happen to be in the area. Now an example of this was done using these trading cards or rather these very large versions. And yes, this demo was shown on stage but I got a first hand look at it. Uh, basically the Tango phone was able to not only make the cards come to life by bringing out smoke or in this case a drone but those particular elements were able to uh, use smart terrain to figure out the area around it the drone was able to figure out a vertical uh, surface that was right next to it and that vertical surface became what was used by the character in the final card which then would be drilling the ice that was rendered onto the vertical surface now this opens up a lot of possibilities in the world of augmented reality because in the past, while you just had different bits and pieces that were floating in the world around you, now they might actually be able to create different scenes and be able to interact with the world around you rather than just being rendered on top of it. So despite it not being a name that you might be totally familiar with in the VR or the AR space, Vuforia is really hoping to push the boundaries of augmented reality through their smart terrain and hopefully it's going to add so much to augmented reality as we know it now that consumers and business or enterprise people alike are going to enjoy its capabilities in a number of new ways. Keep it tuned to VR Source for all the best and also uh, more from the Unity Summit 2017 here in Hollywood, California, where we're seeing a lot of different applications of these new announcements made by Unity and its partners. Keep it tuned to VR Source for even more, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because we are your source for all kinds of reality.